And we are back here on TNA Impact with Slammiversary, one week away from Saturday, live in Montreal. The following contest is set for one ball. Introducing first from Boston, Massachusetts, JDC. Very curious to see how JDC proceeds tonight in this matchup. We saw how last week he attacked Mike Santana in the middle of a road to Slamversary qualifying matchup. Ultimately, Frankie Kazarian would score the victory and qualify for the TNA World Title match at Slamversary. But even more revealing, Ray Wall, how about the footage we saw earlier on tonight? Kazarian is the one who took out Nick Nemeth. We thought it had been JDC. Uh, Kazarian obviously has his aims at Nemeth. But right now, JDC's got a point to prove tonight. title picture we know next week right here on impact the system will defend the titles against matt and jeff hardy it's matt and jeff's first match as a tandem in tna in seven years now at slammiversary the abc will get their long awaited contractual rematch for the titles against the champions either the hardys or the system that's right and jdc has done everything he can to try to get into the good graces of the system, and in particular, the leader, the TNA World Champion, Moose. A victory here is shutting down ABC's Chris Bay. Could just help that cause. We'll see what happens here. JDC has become the hired muscle, it seems, for the system. Not officially a part of the system, however. And look at this early, right off of the bell. Chris Bay goes after Johnny Dango Curtis. A lot of fervor coming right out of Chris Bay, coming out of the gate hot here. Curtis trying to stand his ground here. Whoa, and Curtis Ooh. hard to the outside. Just away from our announce desk here. And now Chris oh, Bay yeah. over the top. And the early advantage here to the ultimate finesser. Turning Philly into Flippadelphia. And now, oh, the kick right to the face there by Bay. And Bay now feeling clearly very confident, but he better be careful. He ain't in there with no spring chicken. This guy is a veteran of the ropes. A self-described most underrated talent in all of pro wrestling is JDC. Big left hand shots here by Chris Bay. JDC trying to create a little Ooh. bit of space and down goes Curtis. Cover. Hook to the leg here, and a kick out. Bay paying homage to ECW legend Rob Van Dam, as we are in the 2300 Arena here in Philadelphia. Bay not done yet. Oh, and Bay tried to push the pace there off of the ropes, and JDC caught him at the perfect moment. I was about to say, Bay not done yet, but he's very much done for now, courtesy of JDC. Ace Austin trying to check on Chris Bay. And this is what Johnny Dango Curtis is capable of now that he's with the system. He realizes that he has everything to lose. He's prepared to do whatever Moose and the system instruct him to do. That, and we're talking about a man renewed, a career renewed, rejuvenated. Oh. Turn Bay inside out on the suplex cover, kick out. Look, we, we both know Dango a long time, Johnny Curtis a long, long time. We know what he's been capable of as an athlete. The last couple of years, he even said it himself. Imagine, I, I barely cared half the time I was doing things. All over the business, I am a new man, I am focused. I want to be with the best of the best, like the system, his friends Brian Myers, his friend Eddie Edwards. Now. Turning everything up to 11, this is a dangerous man. JDC in control against Chris Bay. Oh, 
Oh, down goes Bay, and look there in the back of your screen, JDC's friends, the tag team champions, Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards, and also one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Alicia Edwards. The system will be defending those titles next week against Matt and Jeff Hardy, and if somehow they get past the Hardys, the ABC will be awaiting whomever are the champions for their contractual rematch at Slammiversary. The ABC who tried to get into Meyer's business, and it was JDC who stepped in in between things, which has led to this matchup here. So maybe the ABC will learn to keep their nose where it belongs. I think the ABC understand their business is with the TNA World Tag Team Championships and the system. I think are worried about them. Hey, and the system as the champions, pretty much everything here at TNA, oh. they get to call the shots. Jawbreaker there by Bay. JDC rushes in, face first into the top turnbuckle. And now look at Bay. Bay with an opening here. It's Bay ducking and moving and now swinging wildly. The drop in JDC, center of the ring. Here's a huge opening for Bay. And Bay Ooh. with the uppercut in the corner. Oh, kick right to the back of the head. Okay. Out. Oh, rolls in and hits the neck breaker. Excellent execution there by Bay. Doesn't go for the cover there. Decides to take a risk here up top. Oh, hold on, Myers and Edwards getting closer to the ring here. Hold on, oh, and Ace oh. Austin going to run interference. It's Myers and Austin going at it. Off the top, Chris Bay leveled Eddie Edwards. Ace Austin unprovoked attacked Brian Myers. Oh, look at this. Ace Austin going after Myers. A preemptive strike by Bay on Edwards. The ABC have dealt with these battles before being outnumbered. Oh, oh and Edwards slowed up Bay. Good a shot. huge leg drop. But the numbers are too much for Austin and Bay. You play with fire, you're bound to get burned. The ABC are learning that the hard way right now. Leave it to foul mouth Philly. Whine all you want. The system still works. 